like a place right out of a storybook. Travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Accio. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. 
Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Rebellion. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Rebellion. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair her. Rebellion. That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Incendio. Supposed to get out of here. Revelio. Going to have to get past this. Levy 
Prepare her. Let me go. Incendio. Rebellion. One more to go and I'll make it across. Repair her. Rebellion. Leviosa. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Leviosa. That did the trick. Rebellion. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Rebellion. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, here I come. Rebellion. Honeydukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Rebellion. I wonder if they'll ever find that golden snitch. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? The tales of Beetle the
Not enough reflection on the planet. On in and have a look around. Uh, no touching if you have sticky fingers. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure. Right, whenever you're about. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Rebellion. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf.
Rebellion. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the armory? Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hello again. Were you able to get down? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started! Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer.
What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Lucky shot. Akio. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested, and that you passed. Revelio. Rebellion. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls.
Don't mind me, Owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Revelio. I recognize. The summoning charm should do the trick. Accio. <laughs> Nothing. I'd best keep looking. This will do nicely. No statues here. Accio. Oh, here's a welcome surprise. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Best keep looking. Oh, no statues here. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Nothing. My best keep looking. I'll take that, thank you. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Accio. No statues here. This will do nicely. Nothing. Here's a welcome surprise. What's happening? Could it be? Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them.
I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons, but as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Rebellion. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. Repair him. Now, where did I set my traps? Was it Lower Hogsfield or Upper Hogsfield? This is utter nonsense. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. Just because I'm a poacher doesn't mean I dislike beasts. We had a knees or our house. But I guess don't tell us. Accio! 
one less poacher in the wizarding world. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Rebellion. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Rebellio. These rocks have seen better days.
Revelio. I don't know what they think I'll see around here. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately Rebellion. coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revenue. 
something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. described. Incendio. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But Those loyalists will report back to Ramrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. Rebellion. Rebellion. I wonder how big this place is. Symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I wonder if any of these spells will help me through this. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Platform ought to be able to float straight to me. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio. Of this, so can I. Incendio, Levioso, Accio, Revelio. Incendio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere.
Revelio. Rebellion. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Akio! Myself to this. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him.
an untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendi- Sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Revenue. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. An 
untouched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. Revelio. More spiders. These can't be what beheaded Richard Jackdaw. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. There's Jackdaw looking dead as ever. What happened here? Might it happen again?
Revelio. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place?
can it be? Revelio. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
Revelio. Revelio. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Revelio. for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. That's it. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. For I can't wait to watch you try.
This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio.
Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. He wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. A Vabica Jabra is painless. How utterly boring. Let me also. <laughs> Defender can be just as dangerous as Crucio in the wrong hand. Or the right one. Revelio! <laughs> Miss Willardsy will never believe where the butterflies led me. Well, well. Look what we have here. Plenty of even nastier spells to use. Revelio.
cozy than Hogsmeade. I saw what you did! Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves! Hand them back! Hand what back, sir? Please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Excellent. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a good... books here. The Pulsar! Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Revelio. I suppose some minds are more. Incendio. Will fall from their broom first. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are but, school but, property. This is brilliant. I want them returned in one piece. This will take some getting used to. Good grip. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. to make an appearance once in a while. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. 
The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Hurry and hand in our brooms. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I have not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. 
You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelion. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Let me also. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. Keep it down. Some of us are trying to rest. I 
kill. Revelio. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Accio. Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Revelio. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. 
Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class.
well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me.
an even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs>